love a good hot spring. Hey everybody, welcome back to Ellie Knows Rocks. Today we're in Gemfield, Nevada. This is an area that is, I think, 30 plus miles south of Totopah, Nevada, where we were just at for the last couple days. Today we are looking for all kinds of beautiful rocks. We're looking for bullseye chalcedony, we're looking for different amounts of opalite and some agate and other things as well. Thank you guys so much for joining me on this adventure and let's go see what we find. For those of you that might be new to viewing my channel, thank you so much for stopping by. Please don't forget to subscribe, like and comment, and do all the things to the video. It really, really helps out creators like myself. After being in Tonopah for three days, I'm headed out. But first, I'm looking for the perfect place to stop and get coffee on my way to the hot springs. And oh boy, was I overjoyed when I found it. Thank goodness I'll have some real coffee this morning. This place is absolutely adorable. We are headed out to that dot just below the mountains to go look at a hot spring before we go pick up minerals. Hopefully there's nobody naked there. That's the plan. You guys know, I tried to find this place in the middle of the night, essentially. So like daytime instructions are very different from nighttime instructions. You can't tell people to look for a big graffiti building in the middle of the night, right? It is impossible. Check it out, we're here, we're here. There is a very graffiti building. And if you're driving up to this for the very first time, there are big pools over here, but the hot springs are this way. And now to soak. I love a good hot spring. This one looks really awesome. I hope that like they're actually hot. Oh yes. Yeah, Sweet, this is gonna be so awesome. <laughs> cool. Okay, I'm gonna get situated in the hot spring because I didn't bring a bathing suit, so I'm doing like t-shirt and underwear kind of thing, so I'm not showing y'all that situation. And I have my coffee to enjoy with me. It's a coffee chai tea mixture. Oh, this is this is so exciting. Can't wait. Ooh, okay, so. It is, you know, it's probably at least 104 degrees. I don't know why I have my sunglasses on. Um, I did put a hat on because it's still like, I know, it's chilly outside and I didn't want to have like a cold head while I was in the hot springs. Anyways, regardless, um, I'm wearing a t-shirt. <laughs> but it is so incredibly warm. It feels amazing. It's an extremely slippery pool. A lot of algae always grows on pools, especially when they're you know, like a man-made situation. So this little pool has been, you know, concreted in probably over the years by people, I'm imagining. It wasn't just here naturally. And generally the state doesn't ever do anything to say fix hot springs. It's usually people that come out and enjoy them. It feels so good to just like sit here and soak in the hot water. We're gonna sit here and enjoy this for a little bit before we move on to Gemfield, Nevada. Oh my gosh, this was so needed after digging for turquoise for two days straight. This is exactly what my back was looking for. Wow, it just, it feels so amazing. Protect the source. And it's right here by this little pool. So I'm assuming, yeah, it looks like that one of the pipes is coming out of here. We're gonna feel it. Oh yeah, that is burning, burning hot. We made it to Gemfield, everybody. 
this is the little map you are here so you can see on the road that it goes all kinds of areas so there's purple pink opalite and yellow lavender and more bullseye and banded by the you are here and then north so i guess i need to orientate myself and then there's green and orange and red so we're gonna travel around this little area that i have parked at and see what we can find there's a sign in Let's see when the last person was here, if we can. Let's check it out. So 10, 20, 17. All right, so I need to start a new little, little list. This area is an honor system for a paid for dig. And so if you, as you can see, it's a dollar per pound of rocks and they even have a scale right here that you can, can weigh stuff on. You are here, North is that direction so we're gonna go straight forward and south so slight change of plans we're still looking for stuff but to save the wear and tear on me anyways we're gonna drive up this road and around because i think they all loop together we're gonna go up to site five first and then come back around and bounce to each area so yeah we're, we're gonna do that instead Right, the first site that we're going to look at is the pink plum rose butterscotch opalites and more we're at site five and the map does a very good job of getting us here there is already stuff everywhere yes we're just surface collecting today because we have been beating rocks for the last couple days and it has been intense but see there's just stuff right there on the ground multicolored banded that's awesome we're gonna leave it here i'm not collecting a bunch um just because but they do allow venmo and paypal so that feature is really really cool wow just look at those layers this is an opalite you can hear it well sounds like shards of glass right and it has an awesome conchoidal fracture these are spectacular look at that wow we have the burrows making noise down there look at that stunning piece this one's a keeper those orange, I guess the butterscotch, red, a little bit of pink marbling on top, or I should say modeling. Ooh. That is, that is an awesome piece. Oh my gosh, look how big this banded opalite boulder is. It's absolutely huge. I can't even believe this. You have every single color here. You have the butterscotch, and then you've got the white, gray, reds, pinks, dark purples even this is so pretty this is so cool i can't even believe the piece that i'm about to show you I, mm -hmm, look is that not amazing look at those colors i'm hoping to be able to cut some of this a little bit just to expose that coloration we'll see i guess right when we get home I'm just like, wow, look at the coloration. Oh my gosh, those deep reds and it's just a huge boulder. I mean, wow, look how pretty that is. That lavender purple in between the reddish pink. Wow, and it was just laying right here. And there's a little bit more and like, You've got a thin ribbon. <gasps> oh, whoa. Look at that. Dark purplish lavender. And then you've got all this mottled stuff down here as well. <laughs> I can't believe how pretty this is. You have to be careful with this stuff because it is sharp like glass. Ooh, ooh, what is that? Oh, I love it when you can see all the colors. 
Wow. Look at that. Wow, this this piece though. This is like, woohoo, that is so pretty. I think I might just stick to, ouch, this smaller piece that I found at first, just so that I can have a beautiful like snippet color of each one. Oh my gosh. These colors, look how pink this is. <gasps> I'm freaking out, you guys. This is so cool. <laughs> this is just another awesome rainbow piece with that really thick purple and red and pink. I'm freaking out. This is so stunning. I can't even believe this is real. I've never seen anything like it before. Oh. I'm trying to get this guy out right here and I've been working out with the screwdriver. It doesn't really work. So I'm trying not to break it because I want just a solid chunk out of it. Yeah. Look at how dark, dark purple that is. Oh my gosh. It's so pretty. I love it. So pretty. I'm glad it came out in a bigger chunk than I thought it would. Sweet, yes. Okay, I think that I have got everything that I want from this area. I have all of the colors from this beautiful spot. So I'm gonna head on to the next spot, which I think is a Chalcedony spot that should have the bullseye Chalcedony. We'll go see, but it's up on that ridge um, that way. So, all right, just drove from site five over there. And now I'm at site four, which has supposedly I think it's pink, purple, Chalcedony. Lavender, purple, Chalcedony. Ooh. Let's go see if it really does have lavender and purple Chalcedony. And please, anybody, if you come out here, respect this space. Pack it in, pack it out. Don't leave anything behind. Uh, be respectful of the claim owners and what they ask of you. Uh, this is the way that these sites stay open and that the claim owners allow people to keep coming out here because it's at, um, it's at their burden that we're here. So you assume your own responsibility coming out here. That's liability. That's if you hurt yourself or if you hurt your vehicle. This is all on you, not the claim owner. So I hope that you guys remember that and respect that. Because if people violate that, then this place no longer becomes available to the public. And that would really suck because if you guys haven't been here before, you definitely need to check this out. It's, it's been fantastic so far. So let's see what we find right here. Right off the bat, we're seeing some interesting, what they're calling Cal Sydney, but I would call this Jasper personally. Um, Chalcedony is usually a little bit more transparent, not so opaque. At least it is, you know, translucent. This is amazing stuff, though. Don't get me wrong. Take that one. That's a good contender. Because I'd like to take a piece from each spot. Ooh. Actually. That's just a, a weathered, oxidized surface. Just so you know, that comes off if you break it off. But that's the color underneath of it. Deep purple, like a light gray-ish, almost lavender. That's amazing. That went wild. Whoa. Look at that coloration. The iron was going crazy in here, as well as the manganese. Probably a little bit of nickel. Probably some, no, not necessarily. Maybe some chromium, but chromium usually makes things green can't even believe it and again there's just a mountaintop and we're not very far away from where we were at and you can see how quickly the geology changed just from one little dip to an undulation here of this hill okay I found the piece I'm taking home just to me 
that dot right there in all of those colors. That is just everything. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. All right, we've come down to the third site and right off the bat, right out of the truck, we see a piece of bullseye chalcedony. Look how cool that is. We just were up at up on top of that hill over there. I think that was more like a picture stone, sort of a Jasper Chalcedony mix. And like I've said before, Jasper Chalcedony agate, they're all micro crystal and quartz. They all just form a little bit differently. And they're very different because of the inclusions that are in them to make them different colors. Look at those bands and swirls. I think this might be attached to a bigger rock. Look at those. Think of the arrowheads that could be napped from this material right here. I mean, look at the shards of it. Wow, I love that bright, brilliant red color with the yellow. That high contrast is just so beautiful. Now I'm gonna try to dig this out. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh my gosh. Whoa. Look at the banding there. Oh, that's huge. Look at how pretty that is. Wow. That is stunning. It's huge for sure. This piece right here is almost what you're looking for for a perfect bullseye. It goes around in a band as a beautiful bullseye and it goes around the corner. That's fantastic. And this one the heart the lines on some of these get really good and look we're in an entire wall someone has been digging this back and and chipping things away and oh look at that uh, oh shoot that's attached what oh that's cool a little bit of a squirrel moment there <laughs> these are amazing look at that bullseye in there that's pretty sweet. Oh, that. Wow, some of this. Look at, oh, look at that one. Yeah, these are amazing. And as you go down, just the look of them. That's really pretty. Oh, look. Look at that. I mean, I know that one's cute too, but. Oh my gosh, that has some really beautiful, perfect rings. And just look at the model. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, wow, the back is really cool. I got it on the rock. There's just, I'm speechless. The, I believe the reason it has these banded colors and the rings are because the lighter material was lighter and the darker material was heavier because of the minerals. And so that's how they separated. Look at that. Wow. If I shade the whole thing. Look how beautiful that is. All right, we're at the jadeite area. Everything is green around me, but I've got a water bottle because I'm going to spray the jadeite because what you're looking for is a very vibrant green color. You're looking for almost translucency, but mostly it's going to be opaque. And you're looking for a very smooth, glassy texture. Now, there's a lot of green out here. I've already been looking kind of on the ground. I haven't seen any of that yet, but I'm hoping that the water spraying is going to help me figure that out. Like I was saying, I've never seen so many multicolored microcrystalline quartz minerals in one area before. Wow, oh, that's really pretty. That's not what we're looking for as far as the translucency at all, but it looks neat. I totally thought I found a piece, but this I think has botryoidal chalcedony on it. And it's got like a, a dark green background. And you can distinctly see there's a layer, but oh, I got super excited all of a sudden. It still looks cool. I'll still take it with me, but still continuing to look for the perfect piece. Again, this is not what we're looking for, 
but I do love that two-tone color. So, yeah, I want that one too. <laughs> but not, not transparent yet. After poking around a little bit, I found two different areas of outcrops where people had been digging. This one right here, which looks pretty awesome. And then, oh, that's shiny. Jeez, I am just, it's total squirrel moment for me. It's ridiculous. But then this one right here, which has some really great looking textured glassiness in it. And just super dark greens to light greens to even whatever the white, almost opalite is right beside it. These are amazing. This must run that entire way. But the fact that the geology changes here every 200 feet, if they were to continue to dig into outcrops, I guarantee there would be more things here. These things were probably most likely found because one, someone was walking around or maybe was on horseback, something like that. I'm not sure when the claim was started, but it, it probably happened when the road cuts were going in that all of these huge deposits were actually found because someone sliced into the road going from here to there or who knows what when you're slicing a road in across the country. But someone was probably like, oh my gosh, look at the colors here. And so they had to go check them out. And um, so with that being said, they found these amazing, amazing deposits. Okay, I thought I could leave my sunglasses off. It's so bright out here, I can't do it. I'm sorry. <laughs> so you get the reflection. But just the beautiful landscape of the mesa top up there. It's just covered with basalt, it looks like. I haven't touched it or seen it, but I am guaranteeing that it's going to be a rhyolite or a basalt, something like that. So all of this was probably, like I was saying earlier, brought in by a fissure system where the earth cracked and then the hydrothermal fluid and silica-rich fluid got into this area and created these beautiful layers of rock. It is amazing. It's just absolutely astounding. I love it out here. I, I could spend, I could spend the entire day out here if I could, not just a couple hours. Unfortunately, I have found no luck finding a semi-transparent piece of jadeite, but we did pick up a couple cool pieces and I'll try to like cut one, but most likely I'm gonna throw the little handful that I got into the tumbler just because they'll be pretty tumbled green rocks and that'll be amazing. So we're gonna head over to the last site right now and pick up a couple little pieces of what is supposed to be bright red jasper. Here is the first stop for the jasper site. I think the main one is down the road a little further, but I stopped here because look at the ground variation. We have tan, pink, tan and pink. So just right off the bat, we're already finding little bits of jasper. They're all over the ground them and they're super glossy red those are pretty cool I mean these are just baby pieces but I had to stop just because this is this is awesome this is pretty cool because it's a definite change in topography with geology from being really tan to bright red all of a sudden but let's move on further so we can go to the actual collection site I'm not as interested in the red jasper as I have been the rest of the minerals, only because I believe there's a lot of jasper mixed in with this chalcedony. But I would love a couple really bright red pieces. I'm just, I'm not really seeing the change in geology right where we're at, but I'm, I'm right in the area. So I'm just gonna keep looking. Oh, see that that right there is red jasper holy cow Ooh, look another oh red jasper again okay and so this is the stuff honestly it's coming from up top because that's site one where the bullseye chalcedony is so everything's running down this hill so it might just be like the runoff of collection because you can see some of that bullseye material right here in the wash piece oh look at the purple that's super interesting, wow. But you can see how deep red that is, almost purple. 
I think that the spot I was looking at over there on that hill was probably like the it spot for the red jasper. They were just really, really tiny. I'm not seeing any huge outcrops where people have been digging right here for red jasper. This might just be like the afterthought place where people are like, oh, if I feel like it, I'll stop. But you can see some beautiful pieces that have been washed down from the bullseye pit area up above. And they're just phenomenally gorgeous, aren't they? And with that, everybody, we are going to weigh in to see what my damage is. <laughs> Here is my bag of rocks on the scale. I am in no way the best at using these, but you would have thought after going to the doctor, you know, dozens of times throughout my life, I would have remembered the top weight moves. Regardless, I guesstimated about 30 pounds. Here are just a couple of the pieces after I got them home and washed them off. This is one of the jadeites, the green microcrystalline quartz. This is a spectacular modeled piece of bullseye chalcedony. This is the multicolored chalcedony. Not really a pattern, but beautiful. The pastel multicolored opalite. Again, stunning microcrystalline quartz. I would just like to say to the people that own the claim at Jim Field, thank you so much for allowing the public to come out here and do this based on the honor system. I had an amazing time looking for so many colored minerals in one spot. I can't believe there are this many rainbow colored chalcedonies all in one area. Microcrystalline quartz is amazing. I hope that if you guys get a chance to, and you're in Gemfield, Nevada, just north of Goldfield and south of Tonopah, that you will come and check this place out. And remember, be respectful. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode, and I hope you learned something. I hope you had fun. I hope you enjoyed the minerals. They were amazing. Thank you guys so much again, and I'll see you on the next one.